Hey guys, Jordan here from Sharpworks. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove galvanization from steel quickly and easily using muriatic acid. I have these tent stakes that I want to use for another project, but first I have to remove the galvanized coating. To start off, what is galvanized metal? Well, it's steel that has a layer of zinc which prevents rust from forming when exposed to the elements. Zinc can be very dangerous to your health if inhaled from its dust or fumes. This means it must be removed before grinding, welding, or other cases where the steel undergoes enough heat to vaporize the zinc. That being said, zinc poisoning can easily be avoided. For my solution, I'm using 3 parts water to 1 part muriatic acid. Muriatic acid is also known as hydrochloric acid. There's a couple minor differences, being the levels of purity and concentration. To remove galvanization, you don't need to mix it in water to work, but I found that this ratio works exceptionally well. As soon as you put the steel in the solution, it will begin to bubble. That's the zinc dissolving in the acid. Make sure you're wearing skin, eyes, and lung protection. The same reasons you don't want to weld with galvanized steel apply to this process. So make sure you do it in a well-ventilated area. You can see that the solution overflowed, so I wanted to neutralize this before it messed up the concrete. In doing so, I went a little overboard. After only a few minutes, all of the zinc was removed from the tent stakes. When you remove it from the solution, you must neutralize the acid from the steel, otherwise it'll keep eating away. I mixed up a quick solution of baking soda, borax, and water. I kept adding until the solution was fully saturated and wouldn't dissolve any more of the powder. Throw the steel right in and it'll do its magic. There's still a galvanized section that wasn't submerged in the acid, so I'm just going to flip these and repeat the process. After two minutes, the bubbles stop flowing so aggressively and the coating looks like it's completely off. I neutralize the steel again and set aside. To dispose of this acid solution, I'm just going to pour it in my neutralization solution. The acid and bases cancel each other out rather quickly in the form of these bubbles and you really should pour the neutralizing solution into the acid to avoid the acid splashing onto you but I couldn't do that with my container. Just something to consider if you're attempting this process yourself. You can immediately tell the difference between the plain steel and zinc coated steel. Since the steel has no coating, you want to apply a little oil to prevent rust from f If you found this video useful, please leave a like and share this video to anyone who can benefit from it. Alright, I'll see you in the next one.